real YouTubers do a tier list of Bakaizo and not actually do it because I'm too pussy. <laughs> Shut up. Uh, so today we're going to be doing a tier list on Emerald Kaizo. Uh, I've never played it before, so this is a non-professional guide to Emerald Kaizo. Um, today, when I'm going to be doing this tier list, I'm also going to be eating some fresh curry. Delicious. Without further ado, let's get some delicious stuff in. Electrode. Oh, if I have no experience with anyone using this, I will, um, base it on if the, uh, evil, evil people have used it and how good they are when the evil people use it. Electrode is very useless. It's, uh, it's good fodder, it's good ship. Um, I don't know when you get it. If you get it, um, before Watson, it's still too frail to be a good electric resist, unlike some other Pokemon, so. Bad Pokemon. Oh, Magmar is, Magmar's not here, yep. Egg is Segator. Uh, I'm putting it here. It has Explosion. That's, if you have Explosion, you're guaranteed. Actually, no. Electro does Explosion. I'm still gonna put it here because that's the only thing it has going for it. Um, yeah. Boom two. Uh, Electro is kind of mid. It has explosion though. Um, this one has explosion. It has like sleep powder, I think. Psychic, I think. Um, a lot of cool moves. Really good in the sun. However, I have not seen it used much. It seems a bit rare, so they're gonna be put in the high um, oh my God. B tier, I guess. It's like B kind of. Marowak is very niche. It has Fit Club. It has um. That's not possible. That's a. Fit Club. Hey, dude! My friends are starting to dress up in gay. I'm doing a video. So Marowak has Quick Club and that's all it has. I'm not gonna be lying here, but he looks gay. Oh, look at him. Okay, so um, Marowak is a Pokemon. Do -do -do -do. I mean, um, no, Marowak is an okay Pokemon. It's got a high attack stat. Bro! It's got a pretty high attack stat with- STOP IT! Eh, 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 it's got a pretty eh, high attack stat eh, with Quick Club. And its earthquakes hit pretty hard. Other than that, though, it's very slow, doesn't have great bulk, and due to that, it is very niche. However, with Fit Club, it is definitely not a not good tier. Hitmon Lee, it is used by Brawly. It seems really niche. Um, it seems like it's a not very good Pokemon. It does not look like it has. Any sort of good news that it could be able Again? to occupy in Emerald Kaizo. I don't think so it can handle Glacier or Ice types, but it's just too frail. And its offense is, isn't fantastic. Uh, with that said, it's definitely not useless. Uh, strong fighting step is pretty good. But I feel like it just gets you know, outclassed. Hey, I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to get out of here. No? It just isn't like very nice. Hitmon Chan is worse than Hitmon Lee. I'm, I could put Hitmon Lee here actually. Because Hitmon Lee, like, it's, it's faster, it's stronger. Come on, Tran creds that for a little bit more bulk, which is not a good combo. I don't think so I have to say why Lickitung is not a good Pokemon. Weezing's got okay bulk, um, Will-O-Wisp and stuff like that makes it pretty good. Uh, pretty, I think it could be solid. Oh, it also has Explosion, so, yeah, it's good, it's okay support, uh, Sludge Bomb hits okay. Yeah. 
，我一直有讲过，也烧了多嘛。Right on is guaranteed to sell it here. I don't know where is it though. I'm gonna put it at top for now, as I've seen Right on Dead play before, and it's kind of like a pseudo golem to find kills that golem cannot. However, golem gets boom and it's faster. That makes Right on a little bit just kind of bad after mid game. Hang is always good in Elite Four Pokemon. Um, it's normal typing plus pretty good bull, pretty good. Pretty good attack, pretty good bulk, fake out. It's hard to beat that. Superpower as well. And when Norman uses it, it's pretty big threat, so always good. Whenever you find it. A good backup Pokemon oh, here if your team is already really pog. <coughs> and a good Elite Four Pokemon if your team is not as pog. Seeking gets out class seven. Seeking gets outclassed by literally every other water type in the game. However, I think it gets to swim, so it's better than Lucky Do I even have to talk about why Butterfree is not a good Pokemon? It's Sack. That's literally it. Starmie is always good. Uh, Hydro Pump is really clutch for that one Steven fight, where you need Hydro Pump to kill the Charizard. Uh, if you miss that Hydro Pump, you could wipe, though. And when Steven uses it, it's a pretty big threat. Uh, as Hydro Pump is just a truck. High special, high speed. An important encounter, Starmie is always good. I, I'd i actually put it in near required, I think. No, I feel like there might be other water types for that. However, I've not seen any used, so see. This is why it's a non-professional guide. Jinx is just better, Mr. Mime. Mr. Mime might have, like, Reflect, but, like, I feel like Jinx would have that, too. Mr. Mime is not a good Pokemon at all. Jinx has, like, Ice Beam and Psychic, which is pretty okay. Mm, I'm not trying to miss Guts. I kind of forgot that Himonchan has guts. That actually makes it a pretty fucking decent Pokemon. As Himonli does not have guts, it is not very good compared to, like, you just could have class him. Drinks isn't fast, this is why it's not as good. If it was slightly faster, it's good uh, offensive typing would really uh, let it shine. Next up is Electabuzz. Electabuzz is an interesting mod. It's fast, but not super strong. However, it seems pretty threatening when at a lower uh, early game. I don't think you get it early game though. And when Watson uses it, it's terrifying pretty much. And um, good coverage Watson. in the elemental punches. Now <sighs> burn. Hmm. It does feel like it gets outclassed by Electro due to Boom, but I still want to put it here. I think it's better than Marowak's niche. Uh, Magmar is not a good Pokemon. It's definitely in the not good tier. I just don't know where to place it. Uh, having only fire coverage plus like Thunder Punch and Fighting Moves is not a great combo. Um, it's not even Staff Fighting Move on like Blaziken, so. It is just not, it is not there. It is just not good. I think they're close to the bottom here. So. Pinsir. I have never seen Pinsir ever be used. Going off Pokemon Showdown knowledge, this is garbage. Uh, Taurus is definitely always good. Now the question is, is it better than Kang? It does Intimidate, right? That could make it... Um... What the... Yeah, Taurus is just... I feel like Intimidate can make it really good. 
On top of that, it uh, it's fast, it's strong. I feel like it really make use out of its speed and strength to outclass Kang in some scenarios, situations. But I feel like overall they're almost tied, but Intimidate barely gives Taurus the edge. Gyarados is always good. Gyarados is a fantastic Pokemon. Intimidate really good early game. I have, I have to say it's definitely better than all three here. It's a great game too. Even without um, HP flying or surf. Like any stab whatsoever. It's still able to just intimidate and just kind of carry fights. And that's how powerful Intimidate is. Find it early game. Um, you don't have... You don't have it for Roxanne, but it is very important for fights. Mostly Brawly. Therefore, a fantastic Pokemon. Now, Lapras is interesting. Um... I think Lapras is slightly outclassed, but it's got its own niche. Like, kind of like Kingdra, but a little bulkier, a little slower, and I think it hits a little harder as well. Ice type, we covered it in grass. Very solid Pokemon. It's just like very mid, pretty good, not bad, you know? You're gonna lapis, you're not gonna go, damn, I got a lapis. That would be good. Um, you can also guarantee one if you guys get right encounters, I think. So, yeah, lapis is a pretty good Pokemon. I feel like the around finally below lapis because A, I don't see it as much, B, It's a bit weaker. And see, ice type, ice beam stab is really good. But those pesky grass types. So yeah, I don't think so before I'm too good. Now, but I do think it's probably maybe one of the better evolutions. Jolteon's kind of mid, right? Jolteon? Jolteon's kind of mid, right? I think Jolteon's a bit niche. He only has electro type moves. Kind of like electro, but it doesn't have boom. Pick your poison stronger or boom. Pretty much. Um, this is part one. Uh, uh, I need to finish up my spicy curry chicken. Yeah, that's how fast I eat. Goodbye.